boys and girls. It's Miss Watkins and I hope you are excited to learn a new topic today. Today we are going to le be learning about mass and temperature. So I need you to put on those thinking caps and let's go. <laughs> I am pretty sure you have never heard the word mass before. And so let me tell you more about it. Mass is how heavy or how light something is. Did you get that? Let me talk some more. Have you ever lift an object? How does it feel? Does it feel the same when you lift different objects? Well, that's what mass is all about. Because mass is how heavy or how light something is, when we lift things, we have to determine in our mind, is this heavy or is this light? I want you to really think about it. When you are getting ready to lift an object, do you pump up those muscles like Superman and Superwoman? Or is the object so easy to lift that you can throw it straight to the moon? Well, if you have thought about that, you have been thinking about mass a very long time ago and you just did not know. Let's take a look at these two pictures. We have a man lifting something, and here we have a feather. Can you take a guess which picture is reflecting something that is heavy? Which picture is showing something that is heavy? What about which picture is showing something that is light? Can you guess these things? You've guessed correct. The man who is lifting the object is showing us that he is lifting something that is very heavy. It is so heavy that if you look very closely, he's sweating. And if you've guessed this correctly, you'll know that a feather is so light that it can blow freely in the wind. Here are another two objects. Here we have a tire, and then we have an airplane. Can you guess which object is heavier? What about which object is lighter? You see, we are comparing two objects. Can you look at them and think, which one requires you to use those mighty, mighty muscles? And even if you use them, you may still not be able to lift it. And then there's another object that maybe you can lift. You are so correct. The airplane is the heavier object, and the tire is the lighter object. Kiss your brain, you are doing an excellent job. Now, let's talk a little bit about the word temperature. Temperature is how hot or how cold something or the environment is. Sounds like a mouthful, but it's pretty easy.
Have you ever went somewhere where you were so cold that you had to put on a sweater or a jacket? Or what about one day it was really, really, really so hot because you know it's really, really hot in the Bahamas, right? One day it was really hot and you begged mom or dad to take you on the beach so that you can cool down. Well, that's temperature. Temperature is how hot or cold the environment is. And then temperature is how hot or cold something is, like the ice in your soda. That is something that is really, really cold. Or one day mom decides to make soup. Are you going to eat cold soup? You will wait for the soup to get a little bit warm so that it doesn't burn your mouth. But when that soup is on the stove, it is really, really, really hot. And that is what temperature is all about. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? I know, let's move on. Now, here we have one, two, three pictures that are showing us something that is hot or something that is cold. Let's take a look at the first picture. We have a lit candle. Do you think a candle that has fire on top of it is hot or is it cold? You are correct. If you even try to touch that candle, you will definitely get burned. And if something burns you, it is most definitely hot. And we should not touch hot objects. Please do remember that. Our next picture is a girl. She's in snow. On the side of her is a snowman. Do you think this girl is in a hot place? or a very cold place. You are correct. We don't have snow here in the Bahamas, but maybe you have went somewhere that snows. And anywhere that snows is a very cold place. And so this girl has on her sweater. She has on mittens. She has on boots. She has on a hat because she is cold. Our last picture is a bowl of soup. Mmm, yummy. Now, do you think that bowl of soup is hot? Or do you think that bowl of soup is cold? Correct. You can see the steam coming from that soup and there's no way you can eat that because if you do, you will burn your tongue or even your gums and you will definitely have to go to the dentist. But that soup is definitely hot. Well, boys and girls, I am so glad you got to learn all of this cool information today. Remembering that mass is how heavy or how light an object is, and temperature is how cold or how hot an object is, or how cold or hot the environment is. Well, that's all for today. I want you to stay cool. Until next time. Oh, oh, oh.